Testing one, two, three. Hello, everyone. This is Steve Marinucci with another edition of Beatles News Briefs for October 10th, 2018. We have a lot of news for you today, um, but let's start off with some new chart news from Billboard. Um, the Billboard 200 uh, online versions came out today. Egypt Station is down to number 72 from number 55 last week in its fourth week on the charts. Um, but Beatles 1 is up to 163 from 177 the previous week, and Abbey Road is up to 190 from 194 the previous week. We also got the print edition of the Billboard September 29th issue in the mail today, and there's some um, additional chart information that we didn't have uh, for you previously. Um, and what, there's one really interesting um, um, piece of news here. Of the top rock albums, Egypt Station is number one for the second week in a row. Uh, on the adult contemporary chart, Paul McCartney's Come On To Me is number 13, up from number 17. Top album sales, uh, Egypt Station is number four, down from number one the previous week. And on the Artist 100, Paul McCartney is number 17, down from number one. And just so everybody doesn't get confused, um, none of those have any, or none of those are are the Billboard 200, which, as you know, showed a, a steep drop by Egypt Station um, last week. So, um, in any event, um, there we go. Um, now, moving on to John and Yoko. Um, Abbey Road um, put out a a, uh, a banner, um, and Tony Bramwell uh, tweeted it, uh, a picture of it today. Uh, it said, "Imagine all the people living in peace." Um, so they're they're going along with that, and the the, the subway, Seventy Second Street subway in New York, uh, now has um, sky murals uh, created by Yoko Ono um, that they've. Um, install there for the time being and if you want to see pictures of them go to the MTA Arts and Design Twitter post. Um, they really look nice and it's a beautiful thing that she did. Um, also uh, we had a story on Variety.com that you can still read. It's an interview with Elliot Mintz that c contains the the uh, uh, him talking about the Imagine set and also the comments about the Lost Lennon tapes that we had here uh, in a previous show. So, um, and we have reports of a McCartney sighting. Um, a source told us that Paul McCartney was sighted at Gillette Stadium in Foxborough tonight for a private event for Robert Kraft, owner of the New England Patriots. The Boston Globe reported this morning that it was a concert uh, for a private party for Mr. Kraft. Um, Paul drove by and waved. Uh, as he before he played the uh, the stadium, um, and uh, he, he played the old Foxborough Stadium uh, there in 1990. So uh, who knows? Uh, uh, but uh, he was there again tonight. Thanks to everybody for uh, listening to us, and for uh, um, thanks to uh, Fab4Radio.com for uh, carrying us. Uh, you can get us on Podbean, iTunes. Tune in, Spotify, and wherever good podcasts are found. Uh, until next time, this is Steve Marinucci saying we look forward to seeing you, to talking to you again. And when there's news, we'll be there. Take care, everybody.